Hey everyone, this is Victor from Growth Evolution Development Ground, gdground.com. If you've come to this video, you're probably thinking of starting your own mastermind group. If that's so, you've come to the right place. But what is exactly a mastermind? Well, to begin with, the, the concept mastermind was for the first time um, given by uh, Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Grow Rich. And he explained in, in the following way, something along the lines of when two people get together and they work in harmony towards some specific goal, they, it creates a third mind, so to say, and that speeds up the whole process of education. And having been a part of many master, mastermind groups myself, I can say that nothing, no other type of education stands even close to a mastermind, um, to a group of like-minded people, highly motivated, working to, towards something specific. So let's get into the details of what it means to have your own master, business mastermind group. But make sure you watch this video until the end because I have a really special announcement for you that you're gonna find really interesting. There are pretty many things that you can actually screw up if you create a business mastermind the wrong the wrong way and it will be pretty hard to change anything later down the road so the most important thing is to start doing it correctly and the very first thing that you should be asking yourself is what is the purpose of me creating my own mastermind group? Is it to make money and to live from home or to be able to work from home? Is it to find like-minded people? Is it the feeling that you want to give back to the society because maybe the society has given a lot to you? Is it to learn from others? It may be one of those things or it may be all of those things, but the point is, uh, the main thing is that you really understand what you want from your mastermind group because that will give you the bigger picture. And once you have the bigger picture, then you can start dissecting it into smaller details and that will be the surest, the best way to create your own mastermind group the right way. The next thing is to identify your tribe. Who exactly will your members be? What kind of business will they own? That's probably the first question you should be asking. And if you have identified the bigger picture of why you want your mastermind group, then it's going to be easy to answer this. Do you want them to be all to you know come from all kind of businesses or do you, you know a general type of business um, thing going on or do you want them to be in some specific business like Amazon or something like that um, or real estate you get the point and the next thing is that you want to ask yourself how experienced should they be um, because when you're picking members you want to make sure you're picking the right members so that nothing will go wrong down uh, later down the road uh, do you want them to be complete newbies or do you want them to be earning a specific amount already um, annually from their business? Should they be already in their business? Should they have been in the business for five years? And so on. So how experienced are they? How many members will there be in the group? The first thing that comes to your mind if you're thinking of actually making a lot of money from a mastermind is that I want a lot of members. But that's the wrong way to go because that can get really messy. If you do have a lot of members or you're thinking of that you do want to have a lot of members that I recommend that you separate uh, your mastermind into smaller groups. That way it's easier to control the whole process. And then the next question is, where will I find my tribe? Where will I get the members? If you're thinking of creating a free mastermind group, you can do what I did. Just go into Reddit's subreddit mastermind or Quora, and you can find plenty of people there who just want to get into a free mastermind group. But that way, the level of the, the quality of the mastermind won't be so um, so good either because you know people need to give something away in order to really um, to feel that it's an important thing for them to participate in this mastermind. You can also look in Facebook group and so on. If you're thinking of getting a paid, creating a paid mastermind group, it will be a little bit more difficult. Maybe you can ask some people you know. Maybe you already have some people you know. Um, maybe you can do Facebook ads and stuff like that. So it's, the process is a little more complicated. Now another important question is how often will your mastermind group take place? There are some like when I was in mastermind groups, we had a meeting every two weeks. I found that to be pretty okay, pretty decent. Um, some people have it once a month, some once in three months, and I've seen these luxury groups that are super expensive and they have meetings once a half a year, but they do it in person. People actually fly together to be in the same room for a couple of days. Um, and then another question is of course. Uh, who will lead the meetings? Do you want to be the only leader of the meetings or do you want to do like many other mastermind groups do that there's always in each meeting there's a different person leading the group that way it's easier for you and the meetings are a little more different but if you do decide to lead it, lead them on your own that's also you know a good approach because that no that way you're for sure confident that your group is going the way it should be going. Will there be homework? 
will um, people have the same homework or will people, well, if it's different businesses for everyone, people, will they have different types of homework? And what will the penalties be if people don't do their homework? Um, and another thing is, of course, how much will you charge? And like I said, if you're planning to do it for free, it's really simple, Quora, Reddit. But then there's that problem that people don't really take it seriously because they're not giving anything um, to you for it. Taking a small sum is actually probably the best way to do it if you want to have a free group because I had a free group and people just stopped participating people didn't come to meetings and they didn't tell me about it and I kind of felt like why am I doing this and they also probably felt like well I'm not giving anything away you know why bother participating so much and so on so you want to make sure that you're taking at least some money that's my personal opinion um, that comes from experience but if you're like I said if you're making an expensive group you're gonna need to put more effort into it you're probably going to need to create your own website for it so it looks good and so on some kind of landing page and find a place where you can find those people that are willing to pay the money that you're asking them for and then the last but not least um, question that I still wanted to emphasize is the fact that you should ask yourself really do I have the experience to do hold my own business mastermind group because it does take effort and if you've come here just for inspiration and you have had plenty of mastermind groups then you know there's no questions for you um, but if you um, what you can do what I did is just first join somebody else's mastermind group see how it works uh, what works what doesn't and then you can when you feel comfortable start your own business mastermind group and there's many benefits in having your own business mastermind group um, but on the other hand you can read blog <laughs> blog posts like I have you can watch videos like this and if you still don't um, have enough knowledge you can find mentors go through online courses and stuff like that when it comes to all kind of business that's the right way to right approach when you find if you don't know something you don't know how to do something because it's new for you you find somebody that does know how to do it just like you would uh, play a new instrument you'd ask somebody for help or take a new sport ask for somebody for help and now the thing that I wanted to share with you this week on the 27th 5 PST Tony Robbins, Dean Graziosi, and Russell Branson are going live again. They're doing this only once a year, and there's a free live training where they talk about the self-education industry, of how you can take your knowledge, something you're passionate about, your hobbies, and share it with the world, impact the world in a positive way. It's very similar to what uh, I was talking to you about in this video, and I've taken that training last year. It was completely free, and they do it again this year, only one time a year. And if you're into this thing that I just talked to you about, I highly recommend that you go and check out this free live training. I'll leave the link for you down in the description below. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, like always, please hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.